Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Natoya and I'm here to help you start budget traveling in the world. So in this video guys, we're gonna have a conversation of how you can travel to Paris alone as a solo female traveler and do it on a budget. So in this video guys, we're gonna cover three major topics. We're gonna talk about safety, we're gonna talk about where to stay, and we're gonna talk about how to do things alone. So if this is your first solo trip to Paris, I have so much to share with you. I solo traveled Paris before alone. I've traveled to many different countries alone. I lived abroad all by myself in Japan. So I have lots to share with you. But some good news is that Paris is an excellent place to solo travel because they have like a solid tourist infrastructure like everybody goes to paris like there's so much available for tourists so much information and it's just a, a, a city set up for tourists so guys so i just want to let you know this is not a trip planning video i'll have a trip planning video coming out for you guys uh in, in about two or three days this video is specifically how you can solo travel Paris and how to do it on a budget. And this video is a part of my series, how to budget travel Paris. It's linked, I'll link it in the description. It's just a series of videos going into detail on how to do Paris on a budget. Also with that video series, I created a workbook to help you guys plan your trip to Paris. That's also linked in the description. Okay, let's first get in to safety. So guys, I have to let you know, I've traveled, like I said in the beginning of this video, I've traveled to a ton of countries and I've traveled to a lot of them solo. So to stay alive, safe and healthy and just all right, it's just common sense. You don't have to worry so much. I know that you've probably seen the movie Taken where that girl was kidnapped in Paris and I know you're probably worried, but trust me, all you need is common sense to survive in Paris. The advice I'm, I'm about to give you, it's what I learned from traveling, like I said, in Japan, South Korea, Sri Lanka, many different countries in Europe, uh, Taiwan. This is the advice that you can use for any trip any in any country around the world. So here's the truth, guys. I don't mean to be negative, but here is the reality. Like I said, Paris is a popular tourist destination. So unfortunately, there are going to be a lot of people just out there trying to scam, um, rob, and just take advantage of tourists. That's just what it is. I'm from New York City, and I see this all the time. It's honestly just a reality of living in a large city. So please keep in mind when you're in Paris that there are people there just to scam you, just to take your money, take your things, your, your cell phone, your wallet. There's people that do that for a living. Again, especially in a large city like Paris, where there's so many different tourists, so distracted by the beauty of Paris, so distracted by just being on vacation, that they let their guard down and they get themselves in trouble. So guys, just please keep that in mind and just know this is how to approach solo traveling Paris. And with that said, I've never had anything happen to me in Paris or any of the countries that I've visited solo. So again, you just need a little bit of common sense and this is what we're gonna talk about in the video. First thing, don't make yourself a target. Don't go out really late at night alone. Don't go to secluded places alone. If something looks sketchy, it probably is. Don't walk down a dark alley. I, trust me, I know this is obvious. I know you're probably saying, Natoya, this is obvious. But when you're having a good time, when you're in a new country, especially um, when you're having a time and you meet people, you let your guard down and you do silly things. So things like don't have your phone stuck in your back pocket or your wallet stuck in your back pocket. Um, don't have it in your backpack. Don't do that. Keep, keep your stuff packed away. Keep your uh, book bag zipped up. Keep your money safe in your, in your purse or your backpack. Like I said, remember, there's people looking just for the tourists that are, are going to let their guard down. The next thing is dealing with creepy people. Do not try to be polite. Do not worry about being polite. If you don't feel comfortable um, with the question someone is asking you, if you don't feel comfortable with someone being around you, let po politeness out the door. Your safety is a priority. If someone comes up to you and asks you a whole bunch of questions of where, you, who, where you're from, what you're, um, what you're doing in Paris, just politely say, you can politely say something like, oh, oh, my husband is over there. I need to go. He's calling me over there. 
or you can pretend like you don't you don't speak French, but they'll speak to you in English because they know that most foreigners in Paris, the default language is English if they don't speak French. So they'll speak to you in English, especially if they hear you speaking English, they'll speak to you in English. So just pretend like you don't speak English. Just get out of the conversation. Don't try to be polite because that person could be just distracting you so another person could come and rob you okay i'm just i'm just being honest okay again i'm a new yorker and this is what i see all the time and the average person that has brains and common decency would not ask a single woman um traveling by herself uh, personal questions uh, or try to be um make you feel uncomfortable you will be able to differentiate between uh, oh hey oh where are you from kind of question so oh where are you from there's a difference you'll pick up on that behavior again my point is uh, don't try to be polite put your safety first and of course please do not tell people where you're staying how long you're staying who you're with that's no one's business the next thing you have to worry about is getting scammed in paris so honestly i really i really don't have much information about this but i know there's a lot of scams in paris what they do is they come up to you and try to act like they're doing you a favor or they're trying to help you in some kind of way. Like, oh, they're just trying to help the friendly, they're just trying to be friendly and help the tourists out. They're just trying to scam you. So I've never been scammed in Paris before, mainly because I don't trust anyone. Like I said, I'm a New Yorker. I don't trust anyone. I don't think anything is for free. Um, that's just my mentality. And again, I can pick up on the differences between uh, someone um trying to take advantage of me and someone just being polite and just trying to help me out there's a difference and you will be able to pick up on that if you feel uncomfortable at all just um walk away and and, do, and just avoid yourself from being scammed so i'm gonna link a video in the description of uh typical or popular paris scams just so you can be aware of it but just keep in mind people don't do things for free there's you always pay somehow and there's two things that I want you to do uh, to help you with your safety in Paris. The first thing is I want you to sign up for the Smart Traveler Enrollment Services. It's just a basic. It's just basically a service with the U.S. government. You just you're just letting them know where you are in Paris, just in case something goes down and they need to find you and come save you, pretty much. So just sign up with that when you get your exact travel dates. The next thing is I want you to. Uh, pay for travel insurance. So I talk about this in probably every single travel video I have on my channel, but it's so important for you to protect yourself while you're traveling. You're not only protecting yourself from a physical injury, you're protecting yourself from, from lost luggage delay, delay in your travel. So make sure you get travel insurance. You can sign up with my favorite World Nomad Travel Insurance, or you can go to insuremytrip.com it's a search engine for travel insurance and you can pick whichever one is best for you. I'll link both of those in the description. All right, next guys, let's talk about where you're gonna stay in Paris and picking an accommodation while you're in Paris alone. So my number one advice for you here is it doesn't matter where you decide to stay, we're gonna talk about some uh, accommodation situations in a second. It doesn't, it doesn't matter where you decide to stay or what type of accommodation, just make sure you know that this place is well reviewed. Many different travelers have stayed there before. You you read the reviews and you know that it's like a safe, legitimate place. <laughs> like it's not, you're gonna be scammed. It's not on um, a fake location, all that jazz. And that's very easy to determine. Just read the reviews. If you're booking a hotel, read the hotel reviews. Google the hotel. If you're booking an Airbnb, I love booking Airbnbs because you get like really raw, um, real uh, reviews from other guests. That's why I love booking Airbnbs. Uh, if you're booking a hostel, same thing. There's reviews for you to determine if that place is best for you. So read those reviews like crazy. And when you're reading the reviews, just look out for things that would stand out to be a problem for you as a solo female traveler. Uh, look out for people talking about if it's a if it feels safe, if the neighborhood is safe, if the apartment uh, felt safe. Uh, just 
safety 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 as i'm trying to stress in this video that's the number one thing you have to look out for if the place is safe and secure for you as a solo female traveler so the first time i solo traveled in paris i actually stayed in an airbnb uh, i rented a room in an airbnb with two other ladies and i read the reviews thoroughly i spoke to them i made sure it was a safe place for me i googled, googled the address and it turned out fabulously it was a great 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 experience and the room was so affordable and this was a few years ago but i'm pretty sure i paid about between maybe 50 40 50 or 50 dollars it definitely was not a lot so if you're on a tight budget be sure to just rent a room in paris but just make sure you read those reviews if you have a little bit more money to spare, you can definitely rent an entire apartment in Paris. You can get a decent studio apartment for about 70, 60, 70 dollars a night, 75 dollars a night, maybe even less if you book it early and if you're flexible with your dates, if you play around with your dates. So I created a video all about finding a place in Paris. I'll link it above and below. So make sure you check that out. And I created a video on how to book your first Airbnb on a budget where I talk about how the exact steps you need, things to look out for to book your first Airbnb. So be sure to check that out as well. I'll link it above and below. But to get back to booking accommodations, you have your choice of booking a room in Paris, booking a whole apartment. I suggest if you're a solo female traveler, just book a studio apartment. Your next bet is to book a hotel, a budget hotel. Like I said in my video on finding a place to stay in Paris, there are some pretty good hotel deals you can find in Paris. The one we stayed at in Paris, it was near Montmartre, my favorite neighborhood. Um, we only paid about 67 euros, which, about, which is about maybe $75 a night. And, we, and that included breakfast, I believe $75, $80 a night. And that included breakfast. And it was a really nice hotel. The staff was great. I'll link, I'll link all my accommodations that I stayed in Paris uh, in the description. But that was a pretty decent hotel. And to find budget hotels for Paris, use the website hotelscombined.com. I'll link it in the description. That's where I find all my hotel deals. And finally, your last option is to book a hostel. So hostels uh, aren't what they used to be because I feel like they're just a lot more money and I don't think you get a value for your money anymore. Like you can rent an Airbnb, a private room in an Airbnb and get access to a whole apartment, a private room, private bathroom, all that stuff. While at a hostel, um, you're sharing a room with so many other people. It's just that you can pay the same amount and just you're just getting less for a hostel. Unless you like the social vibe and you're staying in a hostel to meet other people, all that jazz then it's a different story but if it's if you're just looking at money i just don't think a hostel is worth it that's just my opinion i went in depth about this in in that same video i keep talking about where to stay in paris again it's linked linked in the description so you can you can decide if a hostel is for you but you just have those three options airbnb my number one choice if you're on a budget a uh, budget hotel and a hostel. And again, just to stress the point, make sure you read those reviews and make sure it's a good and safe place for you. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is handling doing things all by yourself in Paris. Taking the metro, eating alone, uh, doing activities alone, just doing everything all by yourself. So if this is your fir very first solo trip, I just want to tell you to look at this in a different kind of way and take on this experience differently. Because I, I, I just said a lot of alone. I just said you're doing alone and it's all alone. No, you're with yourself. You're doing it with yourself. And when you solo travel Paris, when you take this trip to Paris alone and just anywhere else in the world, you're gonna realize that you are actually with yourself and if you allow it, you can have a great experience with yourself. Going out to eat with yourself, going um, doing all these activities, uh, taking the metro, ro roaming around Paris with yourself. It's an experience that I really cannot put into words, but I wanna let you know it's a lovely, amazing experience and you are going to become addicted to solo traveling, trust me. But the key is I want you to allow yourself to have a good experience, not overthink it, not be like, not have these negative thoughts about, oh my gosh, I'm alone. Oh my gosh, can I handle it alone? You definitely can handle it alone. You definitely can do this trip alone. 
You're not the first one to solo travel Europe, Paris alone. You are not the first one. And because so many women are doing it, myself included, it's definitely an amazing, rewarding experience. You are going to see a side of yourself that you have never seen before. It's definitely going to change you in a positive way. So when you're in Paris, I want you to uh, just focus on being in the moment and enjoying the moment. I want you to do things that you love doing. If you know you love to go to museums, just go to all the museums in Paris. If you're like me and you just kind of like whining and dining, do it, do it alone. Go to the restaurant, sit down, get a glass of wine. People watch, I love doing that. So my point is guys, I want you to be comfortable doing all these things alone in Paris because it's going to be a different experience. I felt like because I did Paris alone by myself, I was able to really fall in love with the city and just see the city, city differently than if I was with other people. And finally, just two quick tips, just make sure that you know a little bit of French because um, a lot of French people, I don't, I can't say, I don't know the research. I can't say that they don't know how to speak English, but a lot of French people are not going to speak to you in English like they're not. Uh, so make sure you have some basic French phrases and make sure, make sure you download the Google Translate app because literally you can take your cell phone, you could hover it over something and it'll translate it for you. Um, utilize Google Maps for the metro. Um, you could just search where you are and it'll just tell you where you need to go on the metro. Make sure you have a SIM card. I think you should, I recommend investing in a SIM card uh, with data so you don't have to rely on free, the free internet access when you're getting around France. So guys, I really, really hope this video helped. Again, this is not uh, this wasn't a trip planning video. I just wanted to give you some real tips and help you with your journey of solo traveling Paris. Be sure to leave any questions or comments in the description and I'll get back to you. Please don't forget to like this video, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.